Okay, we're going to look at a quick overview on how to use MATLAB to calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues. And basically there's just one command. So I'm going to create a matrix. This is the same matrix we saw in the uh, discussion on complex valued um, eigenvalues. So the first row was 310 minus 1. Second row was 0, 8, 0. Second row is 5, minus 10, 1. And there's the um, matrix. If you want to find the eigenvectors, you can put it in a matrix we'll call E. And the, I'm sorry, this is for the eigenvalues. And then the command is eig. We just find the eigenvalues of A. So we see that the eigenvalues are 2 plus 2i, 2 minus 2i, and 8. So if I want to look at the first eigenvalue, it's e of 1. e of 2 is the second. e of 3 is the third. Now if you want to find the eigenvectors as well, then you have to give it two arguments. So we have put um, v is going to be a matrix. The columns of v will be the eigenvectors. And e is going to be another matrix. This is going to be a diagonal matrix where the diagonal entries are the uh, eigenvalues. So now, oops, be careful here. So we use square, square braces, and it's the same command. And now that you give it two arguments, uh, MATLAB will automatically figure out how to react. So now we have the uh, three eigenvalues. So the first column, I'm sorry, the three eigenvalues are found on the diagonal of E. So 2 plus 2i, 2 minus 2i, and 8 plus 0i, or just 8. And the first, the eigenvector, or the first eigenvector that corresponds to 2 plus 2i is the first column of V. The eigenvector corresponding to 2 minus 2i is the second column. And the third column has the eigenvector associated with eigenvalue 8. So if I want to look at the first eigenvector, I'm going to look at all rows, column 1, and there it is. I want to look at the second eigenvector, it's all rows, column 2. And the third eigenvector is the third column. Now, if you uh, remember, recall from the video, we had a different uh, set of eigenvectors. I think we had two, one, zero. But what happens is that um, in this case, the eigenvectors are the span. I just I should be careful. The eigenspace associated with lambda equals eight is the span of vectors of any number times two, one, zero. And the way MATLAB chooses the number is that so the resultant vector has length 1. So if I were to do this, so that's going to take the third column. And now I'm going to divide by the second row, third column for everything. Oops, third column. Oops, I need a col comma there. That gives me that vector 2, 1, 0. So really this is just... 2, 1, 0 uh, times y, and they found a value of y so that the resulting vector has length 1. Uh, so if I look at the f first eigenvector, so let's see, let's do this. So if I want to, I want to be careful here, I want to find the size of that first entry. So if I look at the first entry here, I want to know uh, what's the length of that. So if I think of that as the distance away from the origin, I can do this. I can take the norm of that, and it's going to have a norm of 0 0.4082. So now if I take the f first column and divide by that result, I will get that vector. Okay. Likewise, so if I, uh, let's recall what that first vector was. Um, yeah, so I could do this. I could take the first vector and divide by the third entry, so row 3, column 1, and I could scale it like that, and that's close to what we had uh, for our example in the, in fact, that is what we had in the example that we used. We used two f one fifth plus two fifths i for the first entry, then zero, and then 1. So it's just a matter of scaling. And now if I want to do this, so if I got my a, and I want to, I've got my uh, vector whose columns are the eigenvectors, and I've got a diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are the corresponding eigenvalues. 
So what do we have? We have then if I look at v times e times the inverse of v, I should get back the original matrix. Now notice here because of round off errors, uh, this is not exactly zero, but it's really close to zero for the imaginary part. So this matrix here is really close to that. So in fact, if I take that minus a, you can see I'm going to be, I get these numbers, but it's off by the order of 10 to the minus 14. So we'll get something that's very close.